Pierre. Thank you for the invitation. <coughs> No, it's not the first, but... Okay, uh, so uh, we asked me to give uh, a talk on the difference, on molecular difference uh, between intestinal type and pancreatic or biliary type of ampullary uh, cancer. So as already said by the previous speaker, Daniela, there is difference in terms of expression of some protein, and we use this expression to distinguish between the two types. So in red, you have the protein that are expressed, and in green, the protein that are, does not, uh, <coughs> are not expressed in, uh, the, in the type. And as you can see, there is a, a, an image or a, a picture uh, in mirror between intestinal type and pancreatic obituary type. So there is very few data on the molecular, uh, molecular uh, data on these two types of cancer. There is very few study and studying KERAS or APC and, and gene by gene, but there is few study that give you an overall picture of the different genetic iteration that can be found in the two types of cancer. One of the most recent, recent publication is this that came from um, uh, from this group, and uh, they study, in fact, uh, 32 ampullary carcinoma, 14 intestinal type, and 18 pancreatic obituary type, and they sequenced uh, 279 genes. And from this first study, in fact, we can see no much difference in terms of frequency of the, of the gene, mutated gene. Maybe there is an overrepresentation of Kira's mutation in the pancreatic biliary type, and probably an overrepresentation of APC mutation in this in the group of intestinal subtype. So we decided in the lab when uh, to to study a, a series of 100 patients, 51 intestinal types, and 42 pancreatic biliary types. And this, we extracted DNA from FFP samples, so we enriched in tumor cells uh, these samples, and we perform a cancer panel from uh, Thermo Fisher of uh, 50 genes, and we sequence uh, 50 genes by next generation sequencing. So this is a distribution of the different type of mutation. So we found 155 uh, among the 100 uh, Tumor, tumors. The most frequent mutation is Keras, with 45% of the tumor have bare uh, uh, Keras mutation. Uh, TP53, 40%, APC, 15%, PHI3KNA is 12%, SMAT4, 9%, BRAF, 8%, and uh, CDKN2A, 6%. There is 21% of the tumor without uh, mutation among the 50 gene screen. And uh, just one remark about BRAF mutation, we found no V600E mutation, and all the mutations found were um, in uh, another um, codon mutated. So when we looked for the difference between intestinal type and pancreatic obituary type, we found, in fact, an um, increase uh, a, a significant difference in terms of frequency of mutation for BRAF, as you can see, with 50% of the intestinal type mutated for BRAF, as compared to 0% in pancreatic obituary type. On the contrary, there is an increase, not significant, but there is an increase of uh, frequency of Keras mutation in the pancreatic obituary type, with 52%, and 35% uh, in the intestinal type. And there is an increase, not significant, but an increase of APC, PI3KNS, and SMAT4 in intestinal type. And there is a uh, non-significant, but also an increase in CDKN2A in pancreatic biliary type. So if we summarize that on this diagram, that shows a relative distribution of mutation in the intestinal type and in the pancreatic biliary type, as you can see, there is an increase of BRAF mutation in the intestinal types and probably an increase of KRAS and TP53 
uh, in pancreatic cobillary type. Now, if we compare to colon cancer and pancreatic cancer, this is on the slide, let's say that intestinal types have, a, let's say, a similarity in the distribution, relative distribution of the mutation with colon cancer, and the pancreatic cobillary type is more similar to pancreatic cancer than to colon cancer. Now, there is uh, just a publication in the last issue of uh, cancer cells. So they have uh, a screening of uh, 172 uh, ambu uh, ampullary cancer coming from two countries, Japan and the uh, United States. There is 93 intestinal type, 66 pancreatic obillary type, and 13 other types. So they screen by exome sequencing 60 ampullary cancer, and they define a set of genes that are frequently mutated, and they validate this uh, panel of genes on a series of uh, 112 uh, genes. Uh, tumors, sorry, and they screen for 92 genes. So this is the difference between intestinal type and pancreatic obillary type. As you can see, there is few tumor with a um, high number of mutation, two or let's say two or three in the uh, intestinal type, and also probably uh, let's say three or four pancreatic obillary type, and this tumor can be let's say said highly mutated. When you compare the intestinal type and the pancreatic obillary type in terms of frequency of mutation, they found an overrepresentation, a significantly overrepresentation of mutation in the intestinal type for APC, for ACVR2A and SOX9 and EPHA6, and there is an overrepresentation in pancreatic obillary type for Kiras P53 and CDH10. So there is similar results with a small series that we have uh, previously studied. So when we compare now the activation of the different pathway in these tumors by compiling, in fact, the alteration in the pathway between the intestinal type and the pancreatic obillary type, they found some difference between the activation of the different pathway. This is a representation, so in these, so you have the different gene of the pathway. You, you have two boxes. One box is for intestinal types, is on uh, your left. And for pancreatic uh, biliary type, this is a frequency of the alteration. So for example, for, uh, let's say for these genes, APC, there is 80, uh, 48, sorry, 48 percent of mutation in the intestinal type as compared to 40% in the pancreatic obillary type, okay? The difference between color is, in fact, the APC is an inactivating mutation, and in red is the activating mutation. So if you make the results from all these uh, box in terms of activation or inactivation, so the results of that is the wind signaling pathway are more frequently altered in the intestinal type carcinoma, 60, uh, uh, sorry, 76 percent in this uh, type, as compared to uh, 38 percent in the pancreatic biliary carcinoma. So there is a difference. Wind pathway is, act is more frequently activated in intestinal type than in uh, pancreatic biliary carcinoma. Concerning the PI3 kinase and the RTK RAS signaling pathway, as you can see here, there is a difference in terms of activation of this pathway, with 69% of the uh, pancreatic obillary type are activated by a Keras mutation, as compared to only 38% in the intestinal type. If we sum these uh, results, Rat, uh, uh, RAS signaling pathway are significantly more common in pancreatic biliary type carcinoma than intestinal type carcinoma, 98% uh, as compared to 63%. Now for uh, P53 signaling pathway, once again there is more frequent P53 inactivating mutation in 68% of the pancreatic 
biliary type as compared to 47% uh, of the cases for P53. Just a mention for CDKN2A, there is an increase uh, of uh, uh, homozygous deletion uh, in the intestinal type, but altogether the TP53 RB signaling pathway are significantly more common altered in pancreatic or biliary carcinoma than in intestinal type, 74% versus 45%, uh, 54, 54% in the intestinal type. So there is some difference in terms of activating pathway, at least for three different pathways. But this tumor, uh, we can ask the question if the carcinogenesis of this tumor are different. And now if we go to the type of mutation that are found in the tumor, if we can ask the question if the type of mutation is similar or not between the two types of uh, uh, carcinoma. So you can have a, a picture of the exposition to a carcinogenesis by studying, in fact, the type of mutation found in the tumors. So you have here the representation of the 96 possibilities in terms of uh, mutated triplet. So you can have a mutation, a C2A mutation, a C2G mutation, a C2T mutation, a T2A mutation, a T2C muta uh, mutation, and a T2G mutation. It's all the possibility you have. And you can have another a nucleotide before and a, nu and a nucleotide after, so you have a triplet. And if you look the distribution of the mutation, as you can see for uh, intestinal type and pancreatic type, you have a majority of C2T uh, mutation. And in fact, between intestinal type and pancreatic biliary type, there is no difference in terms of mutated triplets. In fact, you have, uh, I, I'm not sure to distinguish the color, but in fact, you have a C2T mutation, and before you have an A, and after you have a G, that's for the green, and probably for the blue, you have before the C, you have a G here, and a, a G after. So you have some triplets that are frequently mutated, and as you can see, there is strictly no difference between intestinal type and pancreatic type in terms of distribution of the different type of mutation. But if you compare now the intestinal type and the pancreatic uh, biliary type to the colorectal cancer type, uh, to the colorectal cancer and to the pancreatic cancer, there is some similarity, but there is also some difference, strong difference, between the intestinal type and the colorectal type, and the pancreatic biliary type and the pancreatic cancer. If you now, if you introduce, let's say, these different uh, data on a, a principal component analysis, you can try to, uh, to define the, uh, um, the signature by the first uh, component and the second component. And what you can see on, on, on this figure, in blue dot it is a pancreatic obiliary type, in red dot it's an intestinal type, and you have in uh, pink the colon, uh, colorectal cancer, and in green the pancreatic cancer. So there is strictly no difference in terms of distribution along these two axes of the principal component analysis for, uh, in fact, intestinal type and pancreatic type. And there is some difference, significant difference, between all the, all the uh, combination of uh, tumor type. So there is no difference in terms of type of mutation between a pancreatic um, biliary type and an intestinal type that's a very interesting uh, figure, and we can go uh, further in the definition of signature in terms of mutation. In fact, this mu distribution of mutation can be deciphered in at least six different uh, signatures, and this is, uh, you can combine these different uh, six signatures to obtain these uh, two type of signature. And even in the distribution of the different signatures that compose the distribution of the different type of mutation, you have two major signatures, which is represented here in red and in um, uh, yellow. 
And this two signature accounts for approximately 60% of the previous signature. You have one signature which is very, ca very uh, ca uh, characterized by a, a proeminence of C2T uh, mutation at the CPG trinucleotide. And this signature is a witness of age, in fact. And the second signature is characterized by a C2T, uh, but also C2G mutation at a C, uh, a T, uh, C, N triplet. And this tri trinucleotide is associated with another activity of member of the Apobec family of citidine deaminase, with a, a leading to a modification of um, epigenetic. We can go further in terms of difference between intestinal type and pancreatic obillary type by comparing the distribution of the different Keras mutation, because there is a lot of mutation, in fact, in, for Keras, approximately 50%, 55%, and we compare, in fact, the different type of mutation. So you have the 13 G13D mutation, the 12 G12V mutation, etc., and you have the G12R mutation. This is the intestinal type, the relative distribution of the different type of mutation for Keras. And once again, there is a difference between intestinal type and pancreatic obillary type. And the major difference is there is no G13D in pancreatic obillary type, and there is an excess of G12R uh, mutation in the pancreatico biliary type. And if we compare to colon cancer and pancreatic cancer, in fact, there is a very similar distribution in colon cancer and intestinal type, and a very similar distribution between pancreatic biliary type and pancreatic cancer. As you can see, in one case, you have the G13D mutation, and in the other case, you have the G12R mutation in both cases. So, in conclusion, I would like to say there is two different histological subtypes, supported by difference in frequency of genetic alteration. There is APC mutation more frequent in intestinal type, Keras and P53 more frequent in pancreatic obillary type. The activation of wind signaling pathway are more frequent in the intestinal type. The RAS pathway activation are more frequent in pancreatic obillary type. P53 are more frequent in pancreatic obillary type. We can say also that the intestinal is close to, or closer to the colorectal tumor than uh, to pancreatic cancer, and the pancreatic obillary type is close to pancreatic cancer. But in fact, there is identical mutation signature, in fact, between these two types, suggesting similar carcinogenesis and different carcinogenesis from pancreatic cancer and from colon cancer. And probably this is due to uh, different stem uh, cells at the origin of the two types of cancer. And, and in fact, these two uh, types of uh, stem cells are uh, exposed to similar carcinogen. And this can be summarized by this uh, picture that came from the paper of cancer cells. So you have an excess of uh, RAS signaling pathway in the pancreatic obillary an excess of wind signaling pathway in intestinal type and an excess of uh, P53 signaling alteration in the pancreatic biliary type. Thank you. <laughs>